Bolaños Carrasco, more commonly known as El Pibe del Oro, the Golden Kid. His name is synonymous with Ecuadorian football and is widely regarded as the best player in the history of Ecuador. However, his name is largely unrecognized by the outside world. By the time he was 13, he was already highly regarded as a talented young midfielder in the streets of Ecuador. It wasn't until Jose Vicente Valseca would spot him at a local youth tournament that he urged his club local giants Emelec to sign Bolaños as soon as possible. By the time he was 15, he was already making his professional debut in the Ecuadorian Super League. With rumors flying about Emelec's new gem, it wouldn't take long before the Ecuadorian national team would call him up to make his debut in the 1962 World Cup qualifiers. Here's where South American giants River Plate would make a loan move for the bright young talent. A year into his loan, he would receive an offer from European giants AC Milan, but would deny the offer because of his unwillingness to go out on another loan. Once he would return to Emelec, he would lead the charge of what would later be called El Ballet Azul, the Blue Dance, a golden age for the club spearheaded by Bolaños. Alongside Balseca, Rafa, Raimondi, and Ortega, they would come to be known as the Five King Wizards. At this time, Bolaños was entering his prime and he was unstoppable on his day. Roaming the pitch freely, he would vainly mock his opponents with his talent and his flair. MLS new team were at the height of their powers. Coach Francisco Paternosker knew Bolaños didn't appreciate the tactics side of the game, so he would always tell him, Pibe, play how you know how to play, and when you get on the field, do what you gotta do. This privilege turned El Pibe into a real leader. He would reprimand anyone who was unwilling to fit the system of the team. Journalist Mauro Velasquez once stated, when Bolaños left Emelec in 1969, with his departure, El Ballet Azul died. Emelec's golden generation was over. Subsequently, Bolaños was a star whose brightness still echoes in Guayaquil, his hometown. Many who were around at the time still remember his debut on the 21st of November, 1960, against Deportivo Caldas from Colombia. The Emelec faithful fell in love and the headlines the following day were Un pibe de oro se paseó en el estadio Capo A golden kid shines in the Capo Stadium Bolaños would retire in the mid-1970s after a stint with fierce rivals Barcelona After his retirement, he would slowly fade away from the spotlight until one morning on May 24, 1996 the tragic news of El Pibe's passing was heard El Universo newspaper wrote on this sad morning, the creator has called him. He left dancing with the ball at his feet. On the day of his departure, he did a Rabona into the next life.